99. Hello, darling. Come on. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Belladonna. Now, you may wonder what it is that I'm doing here. Well, I'm here to share something with you. I have contact juggling ball. Yes, look at that, a contact juggling ball. And you will probably notice I have absolutely, well, mostly no idea what the hell I'm doing with one. Now, I don't really know how to use a contact juggling ball. I thought I would look cool like David Bowie in the lab room, but I think I just look like a damn fool most of the time. You see, I took up contact juggling in order to stop smoking. I used to smoke quite a bit. It's a horrible habit and I just wanted to stop. I didn't want gums or lozenges, so I decided to take up contact juggling to see if it would help me distract myself. And it did whenever I feel the need for a cigarette. I contact juggle quite badly and I am learning that. So, you know, I'd like to tell you that I am just like Jared in Labyrinth. I, however, clearly am not. So, I am doing my best, learning all that I can, doing it likely wrong, mostly people will probably laugh at me, and you know, I still think that you have to keep up, practice, and do the best that you can, even if you're just catching or dropping it. Excuse me. Alright, so that didn't work out so well, it rolled so well or not. Don't laugh at me. Stop laughing at me, Madam Weeks. Right. So, like you do it. Throw some thumbs. Mm -hmm. Put you right in your place. So we're going to try the smaller ball. Oh, they're all scuffed up. Can't imagine why. We try the smaller one, though, the clear one, just like in the film, right? And we're going, and we're going, and we're dropping, and we're dropping, and catching them. And we're going, and we're going, and we're going. We look really stupid. I am never going to master the damn thing. It's <laughs> All right. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Shut up. I hear you laughing over there. Right. All right. Here we go. The black ball. I got a black one because I thought, oh, well, it matches everything and it looks so cool. And I could just do neat things if I ever actually learn how to do this. Unfortunately, it's a bigger one. Also scuffed up. Hmm. But let's just try. Here we go. Keep your eye on the freaking ball and try not to kill anyone in the process. Yes, I know that I am not really doing this correctly. But if I keep talking, and maybe I'll distract you from how badly I am doing it. And the thing is, all you have to do is keep trying. The point is not that to show you how cool I am contact juggling as though I know what I'm doing, as I clearly do not, as Madam Weeps likes to point out. But the thing is, no matter what, you have to keep trying. You have to learn and practice. Sometimes do things that are difficult. Be frustrated. Be annoyed. Do badly. Break things, maybe. Excuse me. <laughs> Just take that one again. I got it. But you never give up. You never surrender. Always keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> Even if you keep dropping it. I'm going to try a practice ball. Lighter. Not as cool looking. But this is for practice, right? And... Okay. So now I'm just going to try this rubber one. This like a proper juggling ball. Let's just see if I can do that. It's bigger. Maybe. Nope. Alright. So anyway, the point is, never give up. Never stop trying. One day, I'll get the hang of this, hopefully. But it's helped me keep my mind, ouch, distracted. But it's also been a lot of fun. And one day, I shall look like Jeriff in Labyrinth. Probably not. But that's okay. I don't really mind. Because you just have to keep trying. Never give up. Never surrender. One day you may find that you have mastered your skill. Would be at contact juggling, making YouTube videos and feeling like nobody's watching or caring. Never give up, children. Never quit. Never surrender. Thank you.